Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it's been two months since I posted my last video. I've basically just disappeared for a couple of months and I'm ever so sorry about that, but I just needed a mental break from social media for a little while so that I could just kind of refresh, refocus on what I want my channels and everything to be about. And I'm so excited to finally be back. I'm feeling so, so good, so, so ready. I've missed sitting down in front of a camera and just chatting, showing you guys my outfits, doing my hauls just talking absolute crap on here, but honestly, I'm so happy to be back. So, we are coming back with a slightly different video today. I thought that I would show you guys my laser tattoo removal journey and let you guys in on my experience and yeah, kind of just chat about it really because I've got an appointment today. I remember when I was thinking about getting my tattoo removed and I was really like kind of unsure. I didn't really know like anything about the process at all. Didn't really do my research, but I was in for a shock because let me tell you, this shit is a long process. I mean, if you've got a tattoo, please do not be expecting it to go in literally like a couple of months because we are three years down the line. Actually, that's a lie. I think we're like five years down the line. I can't even. It's been five years and this bloody thing is still not gone. But we are getting there. We are close to it being completely gone and I'm just so excited about it. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to come in here and share my experience with the whole laser tattoo removal. And yeah, I mean, if you're watching this and you're thinking about getting it done, then I just thought I'd share my experience. So let's start off by talking about the tattoo that I had. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere on the screen of it when I pretty much first got it done like before I had any laser on it. You know like when you have one of those moments and you're like instant regret? Like this was one of those because let's just start off by saying my ex-boyfriend did the tattoo. Why the hell I ever thought that would be a good idea in the first place. So yeah, that's the first thing. Second thing, all of my other tattoos right Love this one. This was the second one I ever got done. A really like fine lined. I've got one on my ankle as well. I'll show you that one. I want to flash myself. Right. Basically, I've got like one on my ankle there. They're all really fine lined tattoos, which I love. Okay. This tattoo, as you will have seen, is literally the complete opposite to what I like. So dark, so big, on my arm. And yeah, I literally just hated it. As soon as he did it, I was like, literally, what am I even doing with my life? But you know what? You think you're in love and you're just like, whatever. It is what it is. We live and we learn. So yeah, had this tattoo done, literally devastated. And then ever since I got it done, literally wearing oversized t-shirts, long sleeve tops in the summer, which by the way, is just so disgustingly hot. Can't even cope. But it's actually been like a real... I don't know, I don't want to ever get a bit like, emotional about it, but I, I didn't realise it had been five years since I had it done. But to think that for five years, I've been kind of covering up my left arm and not wearing things because I was just so embarrassed by a tattoo that I got done, it's actually really quite sad. And it does affect my day-to-day -day life because like I'll go to the shop and I won't be able to pick out a dress that's not got sleeves or when I go on holiday it's such a big thing because I'm like well I've got to wear not got to but you know wear a swimsuit or whatever and I'm just covering up all the time like it's yeah it's not good and the thing is like you live and you learn do you know what I mean but I just say to everyone now like if you are thinking of getting a tattoo please be so set on it or at least like just think about it for some time because I didn't and I'm now suffering because of it. But anyway, so let's get into the whole laser journey part of this video, because this is what we're here for. I obviously wanted it gone as soon as possible. And I was thinking like, you know, you see these videos on TikTok where they'll go over the tattoo and it looks like it's disappeared. So I was like, this is gonna be banging. Like, mate, this can go in like a couple of weeks. Did I get a reality check when I went for my first appointment? My first place where I went to was in London which obviously was mega expensive I said to him like oh like is this gonna go like how long is it gonna take and he was like this could take like a good couple of years and I literally like wanted to cry obviously I'm pretty sure I cried when I left I was really shocked I was like this is just what the hell so that's my first thing like if you're thinking of getting one removed it is a long process you'll get your laser done 
more often than not for me anyway when i get it done it actually looks darker than when before i had the laser because i don't really know why i think it's like the redness and I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but basically it looks a lot darker and then it will lighten over time. But you can't go like every single week. I have actually seen a place on Instagram recently where you can go a lot quicker, like you don't have to wait so long in between appointments. But for the two places where I've been, I've had to wait like literally two, three months in between appointments because basically over the gap and the time, that's when the ink breaks down. So you have to leave a gap in between each appointment which is why it takes so long also you're not supposed to get like obviously the tattoo in the sun like sun exposure all of that stuff i do have some beds not promoting them on here i know they are bad for you but i do get some beds which i probably shouldn't be doing considering i'm getting a tattoo removed but if i've just had a session i'll like cover it up for at least like a month before i get any sun or whatever on it anyway so yeah that's another thing to mention long gaps in, in between appointments i'm not really selling this right now am i but no all i'm gonna say is if you want it gone you won't even care like oh, wait, i'm five years down the line and i'm just like it is nearly gone and it's just so worth it because obviously if you hate it that much then you've got to get rid of it do you know what i mean so the first place I went to was Skin Renew in London. Absolutely amazing. Obviously was a lot more expensive as to where I'm going now. You basically go to your appointment. The two places where I've been, you've had like an ice pack on your arm to kind of numb it a bit. And then they'll put the goggles on. Do the actual laser. I'm going to show a little bit later on when I go to my appointment. But just to explain it a little bit now. They obviously do the laser. Literally, like mine, as you would have seen, isn't huge. It probably takes like a minute. Like literally a minute. The pain... I actually can't. The pain is like so bad. I would say it's the worst pain out of anything I've had in my life. And I've had my lips done. And lips is bad. But this is like another level. And the smell, it literally smells like burnt skin. Unless you get it done, you won't know what I'm talking about. But it literally smells like you're burning away. It's not great. But again, if you've got something that you want removed, you're just gonna have to go through it do you know what i mean that's that pain is awful after like they give me the ice pack thing again that's just the best feeling in the world and then post session always aloe vera gel so they slap some on in the appointment and then i was just going to show you that this is how much i've used i'm pretty sure i've had this i definitely shouldn't have had this for five years but i genuinely think this is the same one that i've had for five years <laughs> That is actually, that is, that is terrific, isn't it? This is literally the only one that I've had in that amount of time. So it lasts, but I wouldn't recommend having the same one for five years. Aloe vera gel, unreal, soothing is what they recommend. So I just put that on. I do suffer quite bad from blistering. So they say like, after you get it done, you can obviously get redness. I bruise so bad around the area and then I pretty much always get blistering. It's not nothing bad, but yeah. And then, yeah, just basically keep it out of the sun. So I am going to put a picture up here of like my before and after. As I say, it's been five years. I'm pretty sure it's been about 15 appointments. I wanna say, maybe more, but we are nearly gone nearly gone and i'm just so happy like even now it's so much lighter and so much more faded like i am feeling a lot more confident um especially because i go to the gym like i want to wear sports bras and stuff so which i do now but yeah i'm going to do my little before and after i'm going to show you also now in the natural light how it looks right now excuse the literal state of the garden literally ripping it apart right now the poor hot tub is just empty and down the end of the garden does trev not know that it's like 25 degrees this weekend clearly not um <laughs> so this is how it's looking now so some bits will fade quicker than others again i'm not an expert so please don't take my word for this but this is what i've been told is that obviously when they do the tattoo the needle can go obviously different depths of the skin you've got so many layers in the skin so basically depending on how deep they've smash that ink into your arm obviously some bits are going to come up quicker than the others so if you look at that beak i've literally got like a floating beak on my arm <laughs> because that bit just doesn't want to go all up here like it's pretty much going which is so exciting around the back that's got a lot more to go but bearing in mind as you would have seen the picture this was all like shaded in like dark and yes it has been a long time but we are really close to the finish line and I'm just so excited for this thing to be gone, you guys. I literally can't. As I've said, 
this has been like a massive thing for me for well ever since i got it done like even now i get literally all my t-shirts cover like to here just because i'm so self-conscious about it so to think that hopefully one day this will be completely gone and i'll just be able to just choose any items of clothing and just whatever and just feel confident is just yeah makes me actually a bit emotional but super excited about that but um yeah hopefully i've answered like most of the questions regarding the whole tattoo journey i don't really know if there's anything else that i should add obviously i'm going to take you guys along with me for my appointment later i'll show you the whole thing like how she does it and stuff but yeah i'm so excited i think that's pretty much it but um yeah super excited i hope this has like been helpful in some way i will catch up with you when i get to my appointment <laughs> so i've just got home from my appointment i only really got to ugh, can't speak i only really got to record like obviously her actually doing it the pain wasn't actually that bad today you know i feel like each time i mean i've had it a lot of times now so you'd think i'd get used to it i am definitely getting used to it but it's all going to be worth it in the end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tag below in the description where I went to. I also insert a little picture of their Instagram here. They're called Lawless Tattoo Clinic in like the Benfleet area. So yeah, I'll tag their thing in the description below and then also put a screenshot on here if you guys want to check them out. Jess is literally amazing. She's who I've been going to for probably the past like two years now it's been, maybe even three. So yeah, highly recommend Jess if you want to get any tattoos removed then definitely check them out but yeah as for my tattoo i shall show you this is how it's looking so it kind of has like this white sheen around it if you can see and obviously it's incredibly red and swollen like i do swell a hell of a lot and as i said like it kind of looks darker right now straight after you get it done it's the most weirdest thing but obviously after like over time it will lighten up yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little bit different hope it's helped if you're thinking about getting a tattoo removed and you're like really nervous or you don't know whether to go ahead with it what would my three main tips be my three main pieces of advice number one definitely think about getting a tattoo thoroughly before you get one because I obviously did not do that. The second thing, if you are going to go ahead, remember that it is a bloody long process and it's not just going to go like after one session. It's going to take some time. You're going to have to deal with it looking really crap and faded until it's gone. So yeah, definitely that. And number three, just, you know, live and learn. Like I was beating myself up and I have beaten myself up so much over the past couple of years for getting that done and not thinking about it but then i'm like Do you know what i was young i wasn't really thinking and it is what it is i just laugh about it now and also i can just hopefully give my knowledge and my bloody stupid ideas and experiences onto someone else so that they don't do the same thing that's what i'm hoping anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video so excited to be back if you couldn't already tell got so many things lined up over the next couple of weeks and some very exciting news actually coming nearer the end of the year so i'm gonna say if you did enjoy this video god also got haircut what do we think i went shorter again right i'm going if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button it really really helps my channel out well. and the subscribe button if you just want to see any more of me i don't know why you would but if you do hit the subscribe button and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video hope you've had a great day or you're having a great day and peace out why did i just do that right bye <laughs>